So here we are at Costco. I just put this queue up today. This is social distancing, they're telling us. But when you get inside, everybody's standing next to each other. So this doesn't have anything to do with social distancing. Watch the video that I showed you. This is getting ready for rationing. Getting ready to ration food. I was just at Whole Foods earlier. They're setting up queues. How, how does this help social distancing? There's a sign. Your safety is our priority. Please help with the following. Social distancing, cover coughs and sneezing, Costco will manage the flow of members entering the building. Rotisserie chicken, limit one. Toilet paper, paper towels, sanitizing wipes, water. Special operating towels. In stock. You getting the picture? Welcome to martial law. Welcome to martial law. This isn't going away anytime soon. This doesn't have anything to do with any virus. This is martial law. You are under martial law. Ladies and gentlemen, the demise of the supply chain of food is happening more rapidly than we could have ever expected. And while I've been expecting this and warning about it for some time, the speed with which things are accelerating is truly neck breaking. And so I want to share some of the latest data points on this front with you right now. First, this Twitter thread um, encountered one grocery store owner who volunteered the information. I'm getting emails in from my supply from my suppliers. Things are going to get crazy. Not necessarily saying the whole supply chain of food will shut down, but it wouldn't surprise me. And so I immediately hopped on Wayne and, and asked for any more information that he could provide. And what he shared is that the suppliers are telling him currently that we're going to do our best with what we ordered, but we don't have any help at our warehouses, specifically pickers, the people that load trucks up with groceries to get them to retail markets. Uh, our people are calling in sick. There's no, there's not enough help there to to get that work done. So his shipments are delayed, and right now it's a wait and see to if they'll ever get restocked. Now, if this is the case, if if grocery stores are already today, Monday, March 16th, being warned before a full quarantine even goes into effect, shutdown goes into effect, that they're having trouble getting food onto those shelves, then there would be other signs. The government would probably be working to do something about this. Indeed, there are such signs. The Texas Governor Abbott has just uh, passed an order that waives all requirements and restrictions on what kind of transportation can be used to get food to market, effectively repurposing alcohol delivery trucks, beer and liquor trucks, so that they can use, uh, be used to deliver groceries. They are desperately trying to keep food on the shelves. This is done just today. Uh, if Texas as a state is making such initiatives, likely there are similar efforts going on at the federal level that just take a little bit longer for those huge gears to turn. And in fact, we have seen a report shared by Natural News that the federal government is moving now to take control over grocery distribution, is moving to classify as critical national infrastructure, large, um, privately owned, you know, Walmart, Kroger, Costco, Target, these huge grocery chains that have the infrastructure to support rationing and... Um, take control over these things. So rather than actually, let's just read the article. The government 
federally is in the planning stages of implementing a plan to protect and control grocery distribution across the U.S. via public-private partnerships. This is exactly what was described in Event 201 uh, with large companies working with the government. Top grocery chains such as Walmart, Kroger, H-E-B, Target, Costco are now efforts are underway to uh, ensure the smooth delivery of food supplies to the public as, a, as the virus lockdown is about to commence on a regional basis and food supplies are necessary to prevent social unrest, lawlessness, and rooting, looting. The plan is in the final stages of being completed and some measures of this rollout could begin as early as now, as early as this week in at least one region of the country. Trump, quote, is working day and night to coordinate a response that keeps the American people fully supplied with food, medicine, water, and security. This plan will be implemented with no advance warning to the public. This will be all you hear about it before it goes into effect. Pence is apparently working with pharmaceutical companies as well to rapidly accelerate critical drug manufacturing because as we've been covering here, we get 97% of our antibiotics from China and those aren't flowing right now. And that's a disaster if we don't, if we're not able to, to have basic medical care. The president prefers, this is what I was alluding to earlier, public-private partnerships leveraging existing distribution infrastructure rather than just taking over everything and running it themselves. The federal government is via executive order designating these uh, grocery outlets as critical infrastructure, which will allow the government to uh, to oversee food distribution and food security for the nation. It's possible, this is conjecture, I want to call out very clearly, articulate that this is not baked in the stone yet. Um, it's possible that this EXO will also designate long-haul trucking as a critical infrastructure as well. In other words, also the distribution. And it might even prioritize trucking and transport operations to keep food, fuel, and medicine and other supplies flowing. In other words, they're doing just what Texas is doing and making sure that they have the ability to keep food moving. The National Guard will be ordered to begin protecting food distribution hubs and truck routes. This plan may even include escort vehicles to shadow the trucks and ensure security so that no one can pull these food bearing trucks over and steal it. There's talk, again, this is talk, not an active decision, that the public might not even be able to enter grocery stores, that they would set up drive-through systems where you get pre pre-packaged little grocery kits. Here's your rations for the week, which contain pre-selected basics, eggs, milk, ground beef, bags of rice, just like in World War II, the rationing cards where you got only what you were allowed to get and nothing more. It wasn't the price of the goods that was the problem. It was that you were rationed. These would be offered at a fixed price and fixed quantities with strict limits on the available purchases per person. Folks, these things have to go into effect because we don't have the food anymore to allow people to stockpile at this. We've been covering this for years, the crop losses, and now the results of what's going on. Strict limits will also be placed at a federal level on grocery items. These limits will apply to ground beef, water, eggs, rice, milk, canned soups, bread, powdered milk, and then personal hygiene and baby care items like diapers, toilet paper, bleach, sanitizing supplies, etc. Uh, even basic pharmacy items like alcohol and hydrogen peroxide would be rationed, strictly rationed. Again, this may be activated within days. So this is a huge piece of news that I wanted to share out. Um, you know, as some other people on that thread commented, if you want to see real dystopic situations playing out around you, then shut down or disrupt the food supply chain. And ladies and gentlemen, that's exactly what's going on now. Just as Trump's former economic advisor had warned, if you want to totally destroy the United States, stop shipping antibiotics from China. Both of these things are happening now, and we are entering a perfect storm with a pandemic, with food shortages, with medical uh, martial law and medical shortfalls. Um, this is just a terrible situation that we're entering into. And I want to make sure that we are doing everything we can to communicate this as clearly and calmly as we can to people that, that are not yet as prepared as we'd like them to be. Because we're all in this together. And the more of us that are doing what we can to, to pre-position ourselves and to start growing food now, 
the better we will get through this together as communities and indeed as a country, as a world, as a species. All right. Um, we've also just now, just minutes ago, seen that packers, meat packers, are being locked down. They're no longer accepting orders. People that are trying to get meat, hogs, beef to the market aren't able to do so anymore. There's no place to take your product at this point. Um, so this is, as we just saw, this is the disruption of the food supply chain. It's happening now. The government is moving to take control over it with armed escorts of food trucks and take over distribution at the big grocers. Obviously, there's no allowance for small mom and pop stores. No, they're just, they're not going to get their groceries. They're going to be shut down. There's no provision for them whatsoever. And then this article also today, this is all breaking right now. This is a real time situation playing out, which is why I'm putting out these uh, reports more frequently. Coronavirus could bring machinery and input challenges. This is from Farmers Weekly. So they're talking about to agriculture, inputs, fertilizers, the machines you need, the seeds you need to grow crops. We're looking at the, at the possibility of nothing getting planted this year. From this article, quote, farmers may face difficulty getting spare parts for machinery and other imports inputs over the coming months due to the virus lockdown. This is what we've been warning about for weeks now on this channel, on the Ice Age Farmer channel, and it's playing out and it's happening rapidly. 80% of the farm machinery is currently imported into the UK. The vast majority also comes from the rest of Europe. And now that all of these borders are being shut down, Uh, Farmers are not going to have what they need to grow food. The global machinery supply chain is still functioning, but things may become more challenging as these impacts are felt. I'm going to leave it there for now because I think we've said enough. It it stands to reason, though, if the government is already taking steps to take control over the, the movement of goods and food to market, and the actual retail places where food is being distributed now, probably under armed guards. It's just a matter of time before they then, in turn, go to take control over the means of production. They go take control over the farms. And we saw the Chinese, the PLA, the army in China, taking control over the rice paddies to make sure that crops got planted there, because if they didn't, then they would starve. And so I think there's a very real chance that we'll start to see motion on behalf of the federal government to not nationalize, but to take control over the farming operations and ranching operations here in the United States as well. What that will look like, I don't know. How they will handle the situation with farmers, I don't know. It's entirely possible, especially now that we have zero interest rates, that they can just print as much paper money as they want and pay those farmers whatever whatever it takes to uh, get them to acquiesce, because all that matters here is the food. You can't print more food. And we're running now into a shutdown of the food supply chain. That's all there is to say about this, folks. Please start growing your own food. Please spread the word (laughs) about if, if you've not already, now would be a great time to start up your garden. And again, Absolutely spread the word to people around you so that they know they need to be bracing for this. It's not toilet paper that we need to be stocking up on right now. We need to be bracing for both immediate short-term disruptions and uh, the government taking control over the food distribution and food retail, and then more significantly over the long-term effects of this, that we will not be planting our crops this year. The fields are flooded. We don't have access to our machinery, to our seeds. This is just a disaster on all sides. If you've got any thoughts on what's going on, I welcome them. Comment below or send me a note, icehfarmer at protonmail.com. I will continue reporting on the situation because it is absolutely the most pressing thing facing us right now. Um, Please support this broadcast if you're able to, patreon.com slash icehfarmer. And I hope you're doing well and staying calm and sane and healthy and fed. Let's go build new systems that will gr- uh, that will grow food for our communities locally find farmers and ranchers that are growing locally that you can support offer them help offer them help growing or help getting their product to uh, folks in your community and let's just do what we can to shore up networks that will keep people fed right now thanks for watching folks please spread the word <laughs>